Hello everybody, I am Alenvia or Brad as you want to call me and this is the setup for our new save. This is going to be my first save. I wanted to do it earlier but then what if Warcraft Shadowlands happened so yeah um, I lost a bit of time and over the weekend I had some other things to do but with that said we're going to start it we're going to do something special i'm going to start my first save i was considering a lot of things i know that somebody said south end i was considering that but then i came up with something i heard and that made me very interested so our save is going to be the fc vidus what is special about this team that is in a relegation run for the Swiss Challenger League, I think it's called. But anyway, we're going to go in. So I signed the contract. So no, we're in the Super League, the Swiss Super League. Why is that interesting? Because of the Europa Cup. Why is the Europa League very interesting? Because, and why is a promoted team in that? They didn't win the Swiss Cup. No, they did. No, 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 they didn't. What they did do is they are from Liechtenstein, which means they get a spot thanks to winning the Liechtensteiner Cup last season, which means we are actually in the first qualification round of the Europa League. Why do I find this interesting? Because um, we're going to try to prevail in Switzerland and at the same time we're going to do something different we're going to try to push Liechtenstein up the ramp and why do I find this interesting because I want to for example figure out if for example we win in the Swiss Super League where do we do we get then our Champions League slot or do we keep when we win the Liechtensteiner Cup do we keep our slot but Liechtenstein doesn't have their own league, so we are not important. The Liechtensteiner Cup is not important. We want to win, reach the second one. We want to become the most rich, built, reputable team in Switzerland, and we want to be develop the best youth system in the country. And that is the biggest part. We do see the preferred signing of Liechtensteiner players. It's going to be interesting. We are supposed to make the most of that piece and play counterattacking football. Counterattacking football would be my probably setup. Because we are supposed to go this one. We are supposed to spend the original transfer budget. Which will be interesting. Wage budget is normal. But my plan with this save. Is to build up the whole Liechtenstein region. We want to push ourselves up. To a spot where we can. Get the Liechtenstein national team. Maybe in a good spot. We haven't picked that team up yet. But because I want to try. To develop the players. I want to do a big building the nation with this. Well, I will use my youth system as much as I can. I'm going to probably plunder the other teams for a while till we get into the position we want to get in there. And at the end, is still becoming the most rigid built team, but I don't think it will be that easy, but we will try to set our feet towards that one. So with that, yeah, um, let's have an intro squad. Yes, let's do all that. And we are going to save this. As I said, my vision is to get this on. We have the transfer window. We do have a lot of players leaving out. That's going to be one of the bigger parts of this to keep an eye out for. We will have a lot of players leave because we aren't the biggest team. As we can see, our development system. Our deve we have a team. Wait. We, <laughs> I love this. I love this. We have the team Liechtenstein as our youth team. I love it. We have a reserve squad. Not the best. Let's look at our squad for now. Um, Let's go for the team report. Um, okay. Um. So I'll be right back. I'll think about a strategy I want to employ here and then we'll run further with this. So, so I, I've set up a tactic right now, so we can look for a moment at our wage budget, because we only have 455,000 
euros in there. We have 42, 46k in wage budget. We have about 4k still open for us. So there's something to do with that one. Our, our team does look decent right now. So I have thought about a tactic. We're going to go into the team report. You can kind of see what, what I would say is right now our team. So right now we're playing with this. We can look at the depth. We do have a decent depth, I would say, right now. We have five players in the attacking position. We have a bit more, even though they're split up a bit around this one. Gus Guzito is one of the guys I'm going to put in there. We do have, especially in the back, we have a good setup here. We have a lot of players who can, with that one. So our team isn't lacking in depth in any way, shape, or form. I would say right now with how we see the system going around. And that's what I feel like is really good about this Verdos side. And that's going to keep us up. So what we have to keep an eye out for, we have these two matches to get us informed. Then we have Renova, which will be our first qualifying round, which will be a big part of this. We have to get through this first First qualifying round. If we can hit the first qualifying round and get further, we have a good chance. The thing is, this is the lower. We do face the Ma North Macedonian side of Renova. We can beat them out. We can move ourselves forward. So that is a part I feel like could be really good. So what we have to keep in mind right now is we will have a compact schedule going around. So we went. We need to win the first round. Then we have to move forward. We have to get through this way. And if we can beat this league path, we can move further down the line. Because as we can see, we can go through this league path and the champion's path opens up. And it's just going to be a mess how to get there. If we can get to the group stage in like the next one or two years, I feel fine about that one. Let's look at our competition in the Swiss League. The Swiss League is a bit of a hard sell for us. So there are only 10 teams in there. We have to... Beat out everybody we can. We are, as far as I've seen from the media setup, we are one of the teams that are being put as. In this season preview, we are the promoted side. We have the highest relegation side. So that's why we're going to play this counterattack in football because I feel like we aren't the guys who should put on the pressure here. We are tipped as the team going out. We have... As far as I see, nobody in here for our team. So, in a big surprise, we do have two people here forwards with Koulibaly and Sichik, who are good players, no doubt about that one. But we have to keep our eyes out for how this whole situation will burn around. What our main focus will be is going through this youth system and just pushing forward. So, we will be skipping a bit far forward. Till we hit that Renova match, how I feel about the Renova match, we will see, and how the Renova match will go out, we'll see. And then we will probably, next episode, really start off with Basel, because Basel will be a big part of that one. The Liechtensteiner Cup is far away for us. We should try to keep this one up, but it's going to be building the nation, building up Liechtenstein. And let's, for one more moment, we're going to look at something before I head over. Lichtenstein. You should give me that, yeah. So, what we have to keep an eye out. We're 180th. I think we're almost dead last in this setting. Okay, no, there are a lot more, but we're 180th. We're not in good position. We're around Bangladesh. We're about Sawatomoe. There aren't many sides in this. Gibraltar's lower than us, yes. San Marino's lower than us. But there aren't many we have really under us. Liechtenstein. I think if I see how... So we have... We are in the in our national group D. I think D is the lowest. Yes, D is the lowest. So we face Gibraltar and San Marino. They face Gibraltar and San Marino. And my goal is to push this team forward. That we can get out here. Probably challenge the Nations League. Qualify for a Euros or World Cup will be the dream. But that's going to be the goal. We want to push this FC Verdus as far as we can. Hopefully not get sacked. And maybe, just maybe, reach a point where we can challenge for the Champions League. <laughs> it sounds insane, but I feel like we could do this with the right training. And that is a 
point of this save, especially going for the training, training up the players, getting creating the wonder kids and the good players from Liechtenstein, being smart and buying. You're not going to look for we we're a team. We're not that far that we can say we're going to get the next Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, we're going to get the next Messi. No, that is not the goal of the save. The goal of the save is to push this nation forward. Great players and give them the chance to survive there. We're going to be probably bought out a lot of good players we have. We have to try to hold on to a few there. But the training and getting the backups in there and all that stuff will be a big part of the save. And I'm excited to do this. So... I'm going to jump forward now. We will see each other at the first qualifying game. So let's move on and see you then. We are back now to our Europa, Europa League or Europa Cup League path. First qualifying round. We are here in our matchup versus the big, big team of Vinova who are in the first league of Macedonia. I haven't loaded this league up, so we don't know much either about them. We are playing away. We do have to beat them to get here through. Our strategy will be a 5-2-1-2 strategy. So we're going to play five in the back. We have, in the goal, we have Böcher, Gappe, Schmidt, Gasser, Schmidt, and Dorn, Wiesner, and Gajic are in front of that. Prokopic is the attacking playmate, the, the advanced playmaker. And then we have Kulibali and Shichek in the front. So this is going to be our lineup. We're going to try to put our foot on the gas and head into this game. So we haven't really strengthened much but that's because our save is not focusing on strengthening the team through transfers we've been putting our team in a situation where i feel like they could do quite well we head into the dressing room we're going to pump fist boom we're going to tell them i have faith in you make a difference boom boom and still boom and no reaction there unfortunately so we're going to head out here um my first match here it's a wonderful day uh, you'd be good to go if you encountered any setbacks. We can sell them out, no problem. So, the stadium is quite empty, not a big surprise here. We do have the kickoff. I need to check if the setting, no, they aren't. We have to up the speed a bit more. Yes, we do see them holding on. Schmidt has the ball, and that was just the useless highlight they did want to give us first. You see, Renova is acting against us. We do have a yellow card already on their side, so I'm fine with that. We Renova have no XG up till now. We have Guppa, who is injured already. We do have the replacement up here with Obernexer. It's a bit unfortunate, like Obernexer. To Obexer. Obexer, not Obernexer. Obexer. We have a throw in here. Doran throws it far in. Kulabali gets the header there over to Wiesner. Wiesner passes over to Sichik. I do want to slow it down slightly a bit because that's for me too fast. Yes. Over next, they pass over to P Kopik. Kopik loses the ball here. Patel sits in the counterattack, but Schmidt is that's in between. We do have Doran catching the ball, passes it over. Obexer has the ball now, looking for an opportunity to get something in here. Passes forward to Sichik. Sichik doesn't get it first there. Husik. Clears out, but Gasser is there. Prokopic with the ball. Plays over to Gachik. Wiesner. Uber, Ubexer. Wiesner. Wiesner. Passes over to Dorn. Dorn has the ball. Can we get a corner pass in here? Wiesner gets the ball. Shoots it. And it's in the goal. Sandra Wieser with the first goal of the season. For our Vidus lineup in official games. Quite far forward. We didn't really get much in there, but with those men there, and Wisner takes that one out there. Isne, the goalkeeper, no chance to stop that whatsoever. And this keeps us in a good setup right now. We are keeping our heads up here. We could hold on with this quite nicely. 
as I've seen how our opponent is going to be, which is a bit of surprise me. It looks like AC Milan will be our opponent for the next game. We'll probably be heading out a bit in the back door with a throw in Prokopic. The ball there. Yes, steals the ball. Zilamani shoots and it goes over the crossbar. And that gives us a lot of time to handle the situation. And we're heading into the dressing room with our 1 0 lead. Uh. Fists, you played well, but there's still room for improvement. They are happy with that one. Yeah, okay, everything is otherwise fine. You have a chance once again. It's cleared there. Galic Schmidt plays over to Wiesner. Wiesner passes over to Prokopic. Galic Lubali Dorn. Dorn looking for a pass here. He passes over. Wiesner Galic Milan Gacic. Hits that one in 30 yards. We're just working it outside the box. We're not getting into the box there. But we are taking our shots here. Nice pass over there. Doesn't get it. Galicic takes it up and lobs it in there. No chance for the keeper. And that makes it a 2-0 lead for us. The XG is horrendous of both sides. Let's be honest about that one. They Vinova have an open. I mean, Z71. Kulabali steals it before the other Kulabali gets it. Looks for an opening, gets, doesn't get it in there. Kicic shoots, gets it not in there. But Prokopic is there, and it's a 3 0 for Verduz. And this is going to be a good way for us to start this one, actually. And that was just. They blocking one, the second one goes in there, and it feels like this strat could work for us quite well. It's gonna be interesting how we will handle it, especially versus the higher adversity we will soon head up. Because right now Renova No No but words for them, but they aren't the opponent we want. See check with the goal. 4 0 Bedus. We are in the driver's seat now. And that is one the part. This is the part. This is really shows. We can just lob it up front. He takes it with him, beats the defender out there. I said not to be evil to the side of Renova because let's be honest, Renova is a different team, but we are head and shoulders above them right now. And you can see that how we're playing this completely out. We're going to do a few two subs now because I feel like that could be a good way to handle this one. Kopik will go out here. Sichik will head back in there. We'll, we'll bring in Matteo de Gusto. And Hook will come in for Dorn. Keep our heads up here. And that will be it for this one. And I feel like this could be really a big side. We're going to do the subs in right now. We're in a good position right now. We should just give him time to rest up after this game. And we're comfortably winning this game. No questions about that one. And we win it comfortably. Not much to be really said about that one. We got him good into this position. Well done, good win, boys. Boom. Ah, uh, Pekir was just on the cards. Would be an exhibition. Was superb win of us. Okay, so we are fine with that one. We win and make it through the first round. It was brilliantly done. We will head out there and we go into the next round. Gopal injured five weeks. Ew, that is a big injury. Yeah, we did Drew AC Milan. This is going to be a rough game. We have, we are away. We're facing AC Milan. And this is going to be really hard. We have to hold on versus AC Milan. We do have a bit of time till that matchup, but it's going to be really hard how to handle this one. So let's look at the schedule. What is up? So we have a bit of time till the Milan game. We're going to do a double header next episode. We're going to have the Milan and Basel game where we will head in there, hopefully get something out of this one. But we have to be very careful with how the placement will be. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.